Hello everyone and welcome to the Manchester Open 2020. This is uh, the first event back since March and what better place to do it than here at the National Squash Centre in Manchester, host to so many great events over the years. Well here we go Vanessa, first match back on the PSA World Tour. And Salma Hani One last. setting us all out early with that forehand kill. Yeah that must have felt good. Really good straight drop off the bounce and the volley. Yeah, neither of these players are shy of attacking the front of the court, taking the ball nice and early. That's a lovely shot. Seven, five. From slightly behind herself there on the forehand, whipping it round. combination previously that worked very well just clipping the tin that time just throwing that boast in so now oh, there's back to eight all handed a few errors by Salmahani she's done well though Alves she's, she's stuck in pretty well just Hand out. just as I say that she clunks Nine the side eight. wall from the tight drive from Hani It was made quite, uh, quite easy for her in the end. It's a cheap error from Alves handing the first game, really, to Salma Hani. Yeah, great first game from the Egyptian, stamping her authority towards the end of that game. And she takes it 11 8. Yeah, there was some good attacking stuff from both players. Not too nervous, as you might expect, from, uh, from this first match, really, back on Squash TV. Well dug out from Hani. He's showing her defensive skills as well as her attacking oh. skills. Four one. She really That's scrambled right. there, didn't she, Vanessa? Hani. You know, she she's apparently each player has a couple of towels available. That was good. a very poor and out, poor whip read by Hani quite easily. Each player has a couple of towels available. One so big lead, 8-3 in this second game. Hand out, 4-8. Nifty little <laughs> trickle boast there. And you'd have been proud of that one, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seen you play a few of those. Just any any kind of boast, <laughs> really. Much no better. Lovely touch. She got the width as well on the cross court. Seven and then a lovely nine. finish on the backhand. Great little comeback here from Alves. So she's back to 7 9. Coming from Alves in the second half of this game. 11 9. And she squeezes James it. Hanny. Lovely Hanny forehand drive. Two games to love. So Salma Hani takes that second game, 11-9. She has a two-love lead. Yeah, it was a fantastic squeeze, wasn't it, as we say, on that forehand side. It's probably the first time Alves has actually missed a shot deep in that, in that forehand corner. This is probably one of the longest rallies of the match so far. Oh, that's a great oh, finish. Brilliant. But again, you, Four, that's what you five. keep talking right about, side, that, that cross court, just a little bit too weak, too, too loose from Alves. Yeah, the defensive play from that front, uh, front left has really let her down. So You'd be eight, excused seven. From, your, from your duties here to go and watch him. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm allowed to watch, but <laughs> I can watch it on a screen. Oh, oh. she got it. What a pick up. <laughs> Miss Hanny, are you able to um, wipe that, please? Yeah. I think I would have said, are you okay first? But 
<laughs> get up and get it cleaned. <laughs> Hard taskmaster, yet, Jason Foster. Well played again from Alves, just again changing things up on that front front left. With the trickle boast, wrong footing, Hani. I still think the length of Alves on here could be a little bit better. You're not. Yeah. Both, both players really, they're just not quite hitting the back Hand wall out. enough. Hand out. 9-8. It's a yeah, clever it's shot, wasn't it? Sorry, Vanessa. Yeah, it's just a little bit one paced as well, isn't it? That yeah. hitting into the back. And she has those weapons. She certainly does. Again, just a bit of a feeding routine, wasn't it, Match that one? Four. Down. 11-8. Match two, Hanny. Hanny. Three games to love. 11-8. 11-9. 11 So, good start in this tournament for the Egyptian Salma Hanny, taking that match three, love. First up, please welcome to court, representing Qatar, Abdullah Al-Tamimi. And his opponent today is the world number four and seeded four here in Manchester as well, representing Egypt. Let's hear it for Tarek Momen. Those, uh, those boxes Time. at the front of the tin there are not hampers. They've got uh, towels in for the players to keep the sweat off their hands. It's all to do with safety and hygiene, so they're not wiping their hands on the glass side walls or bat walls. Oh, what a shot from Tamimi. One moment. Got a, a little applause there from Moment. Adapts the quickest to the scenario. Players in Egypt. I think we're playing quite a bit, so not 100% sure Brilliant. where Tamimi was basing himself while it was going on, I presume back in Qatar, but he's also known to be over in the States. Yeah, he sometimes bases himself in New York, doesn't he? Nice long rally here between these two. Said very attacking players, but quite happy to play Four, a longer seven. rally in that instance. But the error coming from Tamimi. It's good tight work down this backhand flank. Beautiful camera angle. Like the way he's playing Tamimi, he's varying it around quite a lot. He is. He's a, he's a clever player, and he's probably should have should be higher than his ranking. Well, it's consistency. Yeah. And mental strength. Well, the weird bounce here is that. Oh, it's so short. Yeah. I think that well, I wouldn't say triple tarot, but I'd say double. <laughs> Triple's a bit extreme, but there's two there. I'd say two bounces. Yeah. Do you think I a think, let or no let? I think no let. Still hanging tough in this first game. I don't know why I didn't play that. He yeah, played correct, that. correct decision. Strange, he just punched that straight. Yeah, he's through. You've got to play that. Yeah, I still, I still think this is a no-let, and the, so does the video referee. Great start for Tamimi. Loose return, Tamimi. It's another example of something you wouldn't have seen Moman do pre-COVID. Pre well, that's tight. Tight. <laughs> that was tight. I knew you got excited about that. <laughs> so by elongating the rallies, he 
gives more of an opportunity for Tamimi actually to hit the tin. Four, three. And some opportunities for uh, for winners from Moment himself. Oh, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> that was like a short game. Five, it was brilliant. <laughs> Some of the movement there and the skill levels and, and deception from both players. Poor width, good hands. No yeah, it's going to be a no let. Just, uh, didn't really think about what he was doing. He's done that a few times to me. I mean, backhand, front corner, he's just five, whacked right it. Side. He's not thought about the width or going over the top. So two game balls for the moment to level up at one game apiece here in Manchester. Stroke to moment. Gets the stroke. Eight, game to moment. Abdullah Tamimi showing a bit of frustration. He had a good lead in the early stage of that second game, Tamimi. That's a clever shot. Very deceptive no. there from Tarrant Moment. But not great from Tamimi. It's a little bit short. It's good pressure. Very good pressure. It's making... Oh, oh my goodness wow. me, what a recovery. Tamimi is going around. Like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Some outrageous speed here, Joey. Oh, oh what a rally. Dearie me. What a rally. Five Brilliant two. rally. It's really working this post well. Tamimi on to that one. Oh. <laughs> Goodness wow. gracious me. How's he getting it back? He's oh, my well, word. What a rally. What an unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our own clapping. Amazing touch there for a moment. The movement. Watch this last bit of touch. So you soft. To... Yes. Yeah, that was incredible. Again, okay, these boys not laying up at all in the front of the court. It's a very exciting space. That was clever. It's just, it's like, it is literally like fast forward. Watch this hold there. It looked like he was going short, so there's a little step for a moment. Tarek moment sensing all of this. Game balls to take a 2 1 lead. What up? And there we go. So Tarek moment looking in good order physically and mentally. And it's the Qatari number one with his hand on his hip that is in a bit of a tangle, as we'd say. Lovely touch. Yeah, it was beautiful. He really hit that with his body. And he nice. did. High backswing as well. Oh, it looked like it was potentially going to be a drive of some sort. Yeah, the racket's really high. Yeah, you see there, he plays it inside out. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see it uh, come to that moment. He's pushing hard here. That's an unbelievable pick up again. What up? Too intense there. Nine four. And Tamimi is kind of grabbing his calf. Not sure if he's cramping. Sticking deep here, Tamimi. And he's going completely fearless. Again, he's gone for the slam dunk. That was ninja like movement for a moment. <laughs> this is oh, unbelievable. Wow. What this is. <laughs> well. Some incredible stuff there, the, the skill levels and the retrieving ability from both players. Oh. So within one point, Tamimi just letting rip now in the front of the court. Oh. 
And it's very effective. What can you do with a shot like that, Parking? Even Moman shakes his head. Not a lot. Not a lot. Cool. It's a uh, fantastic quality from the back of the court. It's just suddenly really gone for a broke and it's paying off. Oh, that's well played. Wow. Really well played. <coughs> Great well, finish. Um, yeah. Three games to one. It had to be. Tamimi really, really did push hard in the back end of the fourth game. It's 11, 11, 8, Some really 11, 6, entertaining 11, and accurate squash. Well, uh, it's definitely it's definitely tough for me to have Abdullah first match after a six month break. Um, at first, I, I didn't know like how to handle the conditions. I, I felt my length was too short. Uh, I wasn't up to speed as well. Like there were a few shots that I would normally get, I couldn't. Uh, so I think for the first game, my main focus towards the end was just to hang in there, play a few more points, just to get into it before we get off and then regroup in the second. And uh, from then on, thankfully, my length was a lot better. My movement was a lot better. And, uh, and yeah, he gave me a bit of a scare in the end. I was 9-4 up and then he just suddenly decided to go for it. And everything he went for just went in. And I was like, OK. <laughs> I felt I had won this match, and all of a sudden we're uh, we're almost into a uh, like a decider. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm quite pleased to be uh, to be able to like push towards the end. The last couple of points, I took some risks, and, and they paid off. Just giving yourself a little bit of time to settle. It's obviously no form at all to go on. Four one, left side. And as we've said again and again, there's ju there is absolutely no way to replicate these kind of matches in training. And the so Hamami just edging ahead in this first game. She's got herself a little three point lead, it's seven well four. Played. It's uh, and nicely five, seven. finished there from the French. She's not looking over. Vicious shot there from VR, and it's uh, got herself Nine in trouble. Six. Going for the kind of volley boast nick, but not coming off, opening up the court and being punished. Well, Mammy pretty much volleying everything to keep the pressure on in this rally. Play. Yeah, she read it well. Seven going to Hamami. Hamami so leads one Hamami game to managing to hold off the French number four. Well, the pressure starting to mount. This is good work here from El Hamami. Yeah. Supping yeah. the tempo. Two, yeah, one. very determined looking start to this second game. Erin trying to find her targets, and now she's really stepping up, putting a bit more bite on every shot. Down. Hand out, 2 5. Nice. Yeah, it's a nicely played. I apologise for anyone that can hear the background rustling. <laughs> Simon Park, who <laughs> is in, a, in and out of his... Uh... 
11-2, game to Hamami. Hamami leads, two games to love. Yeah, she's reading her really easily Two now, months. getting onto the ball early. I just would like to see a little bit of back to basics. She's just been feeding that mid-court a little bit. Four love, right side. That's a beautiful shot. Took that in well, Vanessa. She did. Nice short back swing. Really good balance. For the young Egyptian. What up? It's well played. 11-3. Match to Mami. So there's Three the acknowledgement the with the rackets. Al Hamami holding seven, off 11, two, Villar 11, three. of France. Showed a very, very good first game. Got England versus Scotland in this next one. So let's make them feel welcome representing England. Let's hear it for Richie Fallows. And his opponent today representing Scotland, he is seeded number 15 here, the Scottish number one, Greg Lobben. Obviously, you can't avoid talking about the lockdown these days, but it's interesting to see how, how each player copes with their first match back. I'm sure they're all really fit physically, but it's that squash fitness that's uh, yeah, you slightly can't, different. Yeah, um, you can't replicate it, can you? And also, you, you know, you often see players' form start to really build during, and out you know, during five, the season. Four. Not much uh, between them so far. Thank you. Seven four. Hand out. That's lovely. Lovely Five, skill. That's a good nine. example of the, the talent that Richie Fallows does possess. Seven ten. He was nice. onto that really early, wasn't he? Game he was, and then the hold. Eleven ten. Game to Lobben. Lobben leads one game to Love. Nice finish there, uh, Greg Lobben, with the forehand boast. You know, and, and equally, you know, Greg possibly didn't start quite as well as he, he would have hoped. Maybe a little bit loose, but as long as the composure's there, then One also love. the ability to turn things around is then, you know, as I said, that composure allows you to then... Yeah. It's that kind of thing Four, there is just, two. It's just careless, isn't it? It's so, it's so mental from, from fellows. Spraying into the middle. Seven. That was two. an interesting wow. shot. Hand out. Four nine. Nice, plays that shot well on the backhand. Just delays the swing. Yeah, he just looks like he's looking for it a little bit too much, a little bit too early. Eight, 
11-4, game to Laban. Laban leads two games to love. So, second game goes to Laban. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> pronunciation. Interesting from Scottish Jason. name. <laughs> Well, Parky, we're talking quite a lot about um, Richard Fallows and maybe that lack of focus, concentration, but all credit so far to Greg Lobben. He's been really solid, maybe slightly faltering start, but after sort of midway from that first game, he's been pretty good. He knows that he's got that over Richie Fallows. He's got good, good concentration. It's something he's worked on. You mentioned that his temperament, perhaps when he was younger, wasn't, wasn't as good, but he's, he's certainly improved on that. And um, I think it's, he's superior to Fallows in that respect, so he's just got to keep his head down and play good squash. Down. Four seven. Beautiful shot there from Fallows. Again, the odd flash of just how good he is at times. Clever, wasn't it? He waited just long enough that Seven, time. Seven, eight. So three match balls for Lobben. And out, eight, ten. Match ball. Stroke to Lobben. Oh. Eleven, eight. Three games to love. 11 7, 11 4. Well, he doesn't have 11, a review, 8. so that's it. The stroke gives Greg Lobbin the match. In commentary, we were hearing a bit about squash fitness. Do you, do you feel that some of the players will be lacking squash fitness, i.e., the time that you've had to, to practice? You've had this huge amount of time out, but um, yeah. how does it feel as players? Uh, yeah, that's the thing I was saying to uh, Simon Park yesterday. It was like if this tournament maybe came two or three weeks ago, I don't think I would have been ready. I, I felt fit, but. The squash movements are uh, so much so different to what we would do just out running or cycling. So it took the body a few weeks to kind of get over the stiffness. And um, but now I think I feel ready, and I think all the professionals, I think I'm going to expect them all to be pretty fit. Um, but that maybe cost her a couple of years where she was sort of still playing, but maybe not decided whether she was going to go full time on tour. Yeah, she, I mean, she might correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know whether she, it was as much in her in her blood at a younger age to to want to go and do it. You know, she was obviously doing her studies as as did her older sister at Harvard, but she uh, took a little bit more time forehands, and that's why she clips the tin occasionally. Well, she loves that little half volley as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Which is so difficult to control. It's a fine line, isn't it? Taking it early, but you're going to lose a bit of precision. There we go, that's that backhand volley, well picked up by Sobi. And out. Seven, three. Yes, yes, you can, yes. <coughs> Players are stopping to uh, wipe themselves down. Just matching pace with pace isn't particularly effective. Definitely. I think one of the advantages of playing a top player, there aren't that many, but one is that you will have seen a lot more of them than they have of you, you know, all the, all the videos over the Four, years of, of Camille. And, I mean, it's mainly quality, but you, if, if there are any weaknesses and experience. That's a very good line, a big chance here for Sobi. Wasn't enough quality on the drop shot. And she's yeah. paid for it. Yeah, that was a chance. You have to capitalize on opportunities like that against these players because they won't come easily. Many points to play with, though. Huge lead in this first game. Out. 11 5, game to turn. And there it is. One game to love. Pretty quick first game. Camille Serm not hanging about. Off we go. 
Let's see if um, Sobi can uh, impose herself a little bit more in this game. It's a really good start from uh, from Serm, and again in the second, put away beautifully. Looking quite sharp. Dang. Um, good and movement onto that. Three, four. Yeah, she was onto it nice and early there, and that's something she does possess. Uh, pretty good movement, Sobi. Explosive, and they were having their, their water breaks. Uh, halfway through a half, which was really quite quite bizarre. So it's, and obviously it's happening in squash as well. Yeah. It's just, uh, just a, the same but in, different. Yeah, indicative of the times. And that's five, six. So two unforced Ten errors Ten from eight, Camille so Serm. Game ball. Gives Sobi two game balls to take this second. Yeah. Potentially. Huge. Don't bottle it. <laughs> <laughs> Out. 11 Didn't eight, need game to. Sobe. One game all. Well, that was a lot easier than she expected. Not the overall game, but the, the final point. A well, great effort, nevertheless, by Sabrina Sobi to take that second game. And draws level at one all. There you go. Not very Two fine one. margin there. Lovely volley lob to set up that that uh, winner. And out. Yes, you can, yes. What up? Just feeding some there a little bit. So Eight, big. Four. We're talking about keeping it away from that volley, keeping it away from waist to, to shoulder height. That was right in the hitting zone for some. Out. But she only needs the one. Six game to Serm. Serm leads two games to one. Camille Serm taking the third game, 11 6. Yeah, the tightening of the screws, as it were. Love. I mean, I um, I used to hate making hitting the tin, but I uh, once played Peter Nickel, and he. That was the way we were kind of trained to play, wasn't it? Just cut out the errors. Whereas now, I think that was pretty good. <laughs> One three. That'll do. Does she get an extra point for that? That was outrageous. Let's have another look. I, d I sort of missed it. I was <laughs> trying to talk. You're looking at me. Oh. That was a. Um, decent rally here. Both players hitting their targets. Or were hitting their targets <laughs> towards the back of the court, but complete wrong footer. Right. Six, Not sure where, where Sobi was going there. Just a wry smile from her. Didn't see that one at all. <laughs> Up. 
No la... Hand out. Five eight. She's got the 2-1 lead here, so she desperately wants to close out in four if she can. She's got a few opportunities to do it. That's well played. Seven, six, match to seven. There Three it is. To one. Camille Serm goes 11, through five, to the second eight, round. 11. 11-6, 11-6. With a 3-1 win against Sabrina Sobi. Sobi taking her first ever game against Camille Serm. So uh, certainly nothing to be ashamed of with that performance. And his opponent today representing Egypt, the beast of Alexandria, Mohamed El Shabagi. Nice, nice play from Kendra. Very accurate. And again, wonderful finish there. And out for all. That can all change. We know how Kendra loves to attack the front of the court. Very unorthodox player. And obviously, Shabagi can go full throttle faster than anyone. 6 4. I think we're just kind of bedding in, Parky, yeah. at the moment. It's like laying a patio, just bedding in. <laughs> Yeah, Kandra's uh, players gained quite a lot of experience. He had that run, that huge run in the British Open. He got uh, the name the Giant Killer. Damn. Damn. Baggy settled into this nicely now and is looking a lot more confidence flying up to the tee just noticing Shabagi's moving up to the tee is a lot a lot more positive a lot quicker yep he's yeah kind of woken up, isn't he? he has six points in a row and he's got the lucky one 11, wow eight. that was so Gilles fortunate Shibagi, there's the Shibagi apology that Kandra doesn't see very impressive we'll have both the there touche and out Kandra on the same three. side with the back end. Make Shabagi do a little bit of work, I feel, before going for those kind of shots. It's <laughs> good Five, control. One. Wow, that was outrageous. Three six. <laughs> what a half folly from Kandra. This is ridiculous. Follow oh. through there as well. And well, ten five. As game severe ball. as you can get. So in this second game. Six game balls now for Mohamed El Shabagi. Yeah, it's great work. And there's a fist pump from Shabagi. Very pleased with the, the work that's going on here. Outrageous shot from the back of the court and there. Out, kind two. of shot that's a bit easier for left-handers in that corner. Watch this. Millimetre above the tin. I'd wall above the line. That, that had gone. Oh, 
that's wonderful touch. Five four. Wonderful touch from Ahmed El Shabagi. Nice high preparation. This could have gone anywhere. Shabagi holds hold the line. Unless Kandra does something extraordinary. Well, he's staying in touch, isn't he, in this third? But he's, um, I, I just feel that uh, Shibaga is going to pull away with shots like that. Yeah, it was teed up for him. Shibaga could have come for that, just yeah. conserving a bit of energy, I guess. One thing I will say about Kandra, even though he's kind of down and out, he will keep fighting and fighting, and he is there. There's some howling Seven, and screeching eight. and some very bizarre noises. Kind of quite Michael Jackson-esque. Uh, <laughs> still two match balls with the beast. Yeah, for a possible three-love win in this third. Oh. No. That is not right. Ball is loose, stroke no. to Shibagi. Review Kandra on the stroke decision. Well, Kandra feels that uh, has just wrapped his arm around him, which... Uh, but it's, I think it's such a poor shot and the clearance yeah. is so bad. It should remain a stroke. Yeah. And you're correct. Right. Shibagi takes the first match here for match his campaign Shibagi in Manchester. Mohammed, congratulations. Thank you. Um, through to the next round. Must be good to be back. Yeah, of course. I'm uh, really happy to be back. Uh, it's really exciting for all the players to be competing, seeing everyone in the zone again. Uh, definitely, I was very, very nervous for I played. I'm actually very nervous for every match I play. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I'm just really, really happy to be back on court competing again, definitely. That King's played so far. It's a wealth of experience, obviously, for the Kiwi at this level as well. So it's oh a... Oh, wow. Me. That was an unbelievable that was, that was shot. That was a ridiculous That's... shot. Slam Duncan. Well, Joel King cleaning through Vanessa in this back end of the first game. It was a, an early lead for the Latvian number one. She's looking nice and comfortable on that. That's well played. She deserved that. Hand out, 5-10, game ball. Yes, yeah, stretching out 11, the movement. Six. Game to King. King leads. One game to love. So Joel King, after a slightly slower start, but it was a rip-roaring start, really, from the Latvian number one. I think it was uh, she dropped one game to Tesney Evans. I'm not sure she did, actually. I think it might have been three love. She might have dropped one earlier in the tournament. It's good width three from love. King. So she's rocketing off again. It's a lot better when she starts to push up the court like she's doing here, using that reach and power. That's better pressure from Maskovic. She needs to try and four. believe in herself. I know it's easier said than done, but she's come to this tournament for a reason. When she closes a court down like that, that's very well. well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was unlucky. She was hustling away. And out, 8-5. And out, so Joel King game ball. storms to a full game ball opportunity for a two-love lead, Again. reading this one. At full stretch, just looking a bit uncomfortable there when she stretched into those front corners. Down. 11-6, game to King. King leads two Tough games times to out there for the Latvia number one. Joel King. 
Sealing the deal in the second game. Getting herself in a good position now. Third game. Out. It's good pressure. She deserved that rally. Maskovic. And out. One love. Really important for this Latvian number one to get a good, solid start. You're going to put yourself under a lot of pressure, and I just feel shot wise as well, she's slightly overstretching because of that. Again, looking a little bit yeah, uncomfortable, a bit ragged. 4 1. And Joel King buzzing away. His point of view, it'd be really nice for her to kind of finish on a more positive note, really take the game in these last, possibly last few rallies to the Kiwi as she's doing there, so that's better. Yeah, much Three better, seven. just better. trying to put a few good rallies together towards the end of this match. Down. And out, 5-10, match ball. So Joel King, five, sealing the deal. To King, three games to love. Some encouraging signs there from Maskovic. Tough 11, call for her coming 11, 6, up against 11, somebody 5. of Joel King's quality in this early stage of this event here in Manchester. But last match of today's play, the bullet taking on George Parker from England. Again, a bit of a home for home from George Parker, having trained. A lot of his time here at the National Centre in Manchester. It's just a few minutes of play in this first game. Last match of the day on this glass court. Hand out, three all. Got older, sometimes you can, can still occasionally blow up, but in general it's, uh, it's been better in the last year or two. That's yeah, a great show. good pressure, excellent Seven, pressure. Six. Deserves yes. to be in this position at the moment. Got down to that one well. And out. That's well played from Abu Agar. Seven, nine. Parker convinced the ball was going to go cross court. Apart from that, Parky you can hear a pin drop hit. <laughs> it's a clever play from Abuel, no, just waiting and waiting. It's great awareness, wasn't it? Yeah, he didn't panic this. He Excuse me? wanted to Probably make right. sure he knew exactly where George Parker was going and then popped it in. It's 15 minutes already of play in this first game. And still we don't have a winner. It's been some good quality. Out. Oh, he just quit. Game Do you think Abogar. that just quit? Abogar He's going to complain here, enough. George Parker, a bit. Excuse me? Can you check it, please? No. Can't check out out of court, I'm afraid. <laughs> Where is that dream week? <laughs> What's the dream week like? <laughs> Can't remember. Just constant sleeping. Yeah, that would be perfect. That is a great finish. I mean, it was a loose cross court Two from George more. Parker. He knows it. He's very upset with himself. Not only a bit loose, but slow pace here. Right into the, the sweet tone. Of oh. 
Oh, what a finish from high up behind himself there on the forehand side of Elgar. Flashing. Some real flair. Flashing away. Using the height on the front wall again to good, good use. Taking the ball away from the volley of Abu Agar. Not in that case though. It's got to be careful. Oh, it's a good quality Great rally, rush. that one, from both guys. And then obviously Parker taking Five, it. Five, six. Very impressive squash. work for here from George Parker. Bit yeah. of hold, that oh. worked. He just enough to stop the movement. And out. Yeah, it was clever. Eight, nine. Clever, clever work from Parker. There. He just, you could really see that evidently on the tee. Game ball for a two love lead for the bullet. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. 11, wow. nine. That was incredible. Incredible. Well, you've got Have to attribute this all to just low. amazing solo practice. <laughs> it just goes to show anyone wanting to improve their ball control. It's not rocket science. My word. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> the, 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 the Joker love. cackle that there is from. Outrageous. Oh, my word. That <laughs> is absolutely incredible. <laughs> well appreciated by George Parker. I mean, that hopefully he realizes that you know, he is playing well and he's maybe had a little bit of, well, not the rub of the green, as you say, and he can just. Keeps going, he might just have a chance of uh, staying in this match. Especially with finishes like Two that, more. that was a wonderful finish on the forehand side. Great technique again. Took his time here. Quite similar. Beautiful Down. shot. Six, two. The angle was just perfect for him to play that shot, wasn't it? Yeah. For the bullet to close out now. <laughs> well, if you go on the history of the uh, the first two games, then yes. Oh, he's had a bit of luck there. He's hit the joint between the oh, side the wall and the front wall. You able to give the court wipe? But, uh, Please. That's what happens when you. When you're playing so well, you, you get all the luck as well. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, the funny bounce is not much. Unbelievable athleticism, keeping himself in the rally, George Parker. Yeah, he's fighting hard. He's fighting for his life Fair. here. Oh, why did he go for that? Seven, that was three games to a ridiculous Eleven improvisation nine. there Eleven at this nine. stage of the match. Eleven seven. And his reaction shows how ridiculous it was. He just laughing at himself there, but it's a shame because it was a good performance from Parker. Yeah, some great squash. Really, really good, accurate squash. Very entertaining. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a hard time for uh, all of us squash players and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I had no expectations actually coming here. Coming here, the, you know, the, it's not as usual how we play, but uh, at least we're starting something. So uh, I'm very, very happy and grateful that uh, we're back and uh, very excited and happy with the way I played in the first match.